G'day, Russ here, Prime Motion Training, and in today's discussion, I want to have a chat with you about timing. I regularly get questions from applicants about how long it will take to prepare for the police entrance exam. Now, the same question is often asked about the fitness testing, and I even get questions from applicants who might discover our programs fairly late in their application journey, and will say, I've got my selection panel interview in 10 days' time. Is that enough time to prepare? So in today's chat, let's discuss those questions. Stay tuned. Okay, obviously the first element that we need to keep in mind is time. And the second element to preparing for an event and knowing how long it's going to take to be ready for that event is application. Okay, now, of course, I'm not talking about your police application and, you know, when is the recruiting office going to call me? I'm talking about the application of the right training structure and the application of consistent effort. And that consistent effort is really, really important. So when we're preparing for something, there's obviously a learning curve in the initial phases. We're really just trying to understand the concept. And as we understand the concepts will then start to improve and then of course our confidence will build and then eventually we'll reach our peak. So in this early phase here, it's, it's really just about learning and understanding and getting our head around the concepts. Um, you know, it might be technique, getting your head around the technique and improving your technique if it's a fitness related aspect. If it's an, an entrance exam application, it may simply be that you're trying to get your head around formulas and things like that. So as we do get our head around these things and we start to improve, we're going to really build our confidence quickly. And when that happens, of course, we get this really nice, steep improvement, um, so plain. Now, if we continue on, we're going to get to the point where eventually we reach the peak of our, our performance, the peak of our ability, our potential maybe. And when we get to that stage, this is where not so much the time, but the timing becomes really, really important. Okay, timing. Okay, and this is what I wanted to really focus on in the chat today. Timing is something that athletes will put a, a tremendous amount of emphasis on. You can imagine someone preparing for a marathon and they're starting to put in the work, they're building up their stamina, endurance, they get to about here and then the marathon starts. Well, they're nowhere near their peak. They're nowhere near their potential. They're not going to get anywhere near their best time. Even here where they've been putting in the consistent effort, their fitness is improving, their stamina is building, it's still not their peak, and so they're not going to get the best time they're capable of. Obviously, this point here is the peak, and that's where we want to execute at that time. What happens, particularly with something like an entrance exam for a police application, this could take you two or three weeks, or it could take two or three months, just depending on your current level and depending on the application, how much time and effort you're prepared to put in. And if we take too long, what starts to happen is we get a little bit bored with it now and we get a bit sick of numerical reasoning. And of course, you start to forget some of the formula formulas. You realize when this happens that you've gone past your peak. Um, and that's a really dangerous um, place to be because what can tend to happen is you lose all drive then to, to want to continue on. So the timing is really, really important in terms of numbers. Is this a, you know, one, would you say, Russ, that it's a one to two week phase and then would it maybe take, you know, two to three and, you know, three to four, how does that work? How long will it take me? It's going to depend on where you're starting from and what your current competency level is. If you're already at this stage, then it may not take anywhere near as long as, you, as it would if you're starting, you know, way back at the beginning where you haven't exercised for two or three years or you haven't picked up a numerical reasoning question you know, for 20 years. So it really depends on where you're starting from, but also very importantly, it depends on the right training structure around you and that consistent effort. Consistent effort is really important. As a very general rule, because again, it does depend a lot on your current position and your application um, in terms of you know, consistent effort, but I would say anywhere from around four to eight weeks is what it seems to take most of our members to get to that point where they feel as though they're ready for the entrance exam. Fitness testing could be a little bit longer, again, very much, very much in a fitness setting, dependent on where you're starting from. But regardless of where you're starting from, that's where you're starting from. We've got to accept that, but we can always put in that consistent effort uh, and have the right training structure around us to help move us forward from wherever we happen to be. Now, 
how will you know uh, within, within our program whether you're ready? There's two points that we discuss in the entrance exam training. One is the consistently passing. So if you are consistently passing the practice exams in our application, software application, then that's a very good sign that you're at that stage where you're ready to do the exam. And the second is just how confident you feel about it. I mean, do you feel ready? If you're feeling ready, if you're feeling confident, then those two things for me would be enough for me to be pushing you along now to get that exam done. Because I'm very mindful if we take too long and we procrastinate too long, we may fall off the edge of the cliff and we're probably better off doing it two weeks earlier. In terms of planning, as you know, um, just to wrap things up now with our Victoria Place entrance exam, you know that uh, you have to book in for your exam in advance. So when you first get going, I think a sensible approach is to book an exam that's close, not right up to the date, but close to the three month time limit that you have to prepare. Now, of course, that gives you 12 weeks to prepare. And in this early phase here, if you feel as though you're grasping the concepts really well and you're improving very quickly, then you may decide to pace yourself a little bit more evenly, but maintaining that consistent momentum as well. And that can be a little bit of a tricky balance. Gee, I'm going to peak too early I might have to back off the training a little bit, but maintain that consistency. Of course, the other option could be to bring your exam back to a date that's closer if you feel you've already reached your peak there. All right, well, that's all I wanted to discuss in regards to timing. You can apply this to really anything, entrance exam, fitness testing, you know, a beat test, really any skill, any event, athletes will use time, application, and timing for really any particular type of sport that you might be preparing for. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's chat around timing. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and contact me. Otherwise, I look forward to chatting to you again in another discussion soon.